to Fatima's art show. I hope you watched last week's episode because my daughter Sarah showed you how to make Play-Doh. Now I thought it would be kind of nice to continue the idea of um, showing you different things that you could do with kids, different activities, creative activities. So let's get started with the first activity. So the first activity is painting. Now you might be thinking, um, do you really need to talk about painting? Well, I thought it would be nice to kind of talk about it because a lot of people, parents, carers, they would just put the paint, the brushes, paper, there you go, do your artwork. Well, it is kind of nice to do that, but also it's nice to kind of engage with the children while they're doing their um, piece. So if they are painting a picture, an image, talk to them about what they're painting, um, what the colours mean, sort of, it's sort of engage and um, ask them questions and get them thinking about what they're actually creating. Now, obviously sometimes it is nice to kind of just freely do an art piece without the parents there, but also um, it's nice to kind of engage with the children while you are, while they are working. Um, also, um, try different things. Now I'm gonna show you some footage of my children um, doing some potato printing which is um, really easy, just get some potatoes. I usually like to use old potatoes, I don't like wasting food, so I just use old wrinkly potatoes I'm gonna throw away anyway. I cut them and I uh, make shapes out of them and then I get them to print with those. Look what Sarah's doing, wow. Yeah, so it's your turn. So it's set set on it. Yeah. How about we move the paint here in the middle so both of you can reach it? Same. Can you reach it now? Some printing. Uh, Said gonna do some printing? Yeah. Let's see. Whose rotten potato is this eating? Ah. Wow, well done. I didn't finish. That's very good. Should we do another one? Yeah. Wait! I'm not finished mine. Mine. Uh. Uh. There you go. Yeah. Hey Zane! Um. Oh my god. It's hard to print. Uh. Ah. Oh my. Should we both say potato? One, two, three. Potato! Uh. Also, you can get them to paint a box. Now, um, you can get each child to paint a side of the box so they know that this is their space, this is their, where they're painting, and the other um, side is the other child's space. Now, if you have two children, that's perfect because it teaches them about sharing, it teaches, the, teaches them how to work together as a team, as a unit, um, it teaches them how to um, create a collaborative piece of art. So it kind of teaches them a lot. Also, it's kind of great to also um, get them to actually use the paint in their hands. So put the, their hands in the paint, put their feet in the paint, do some hand prints, do some feet prints. And um, it, the sense of um, touch is really important when it comes to children and also engage with them while they are they are um, doing the hand prints or, or footprints. So how does the paint feel? Oh, it feels cold. And you know, just sort of talk to them about what they're doing um, just while they're, they're kind of working. So painting is a really nice activity and there are so much things you could do with painting. It's not just brush and paint. There are so much other things that you can do. So I hope I've given you ideas on that. <laughs> You're gonna mix them together? Are you gonna rub your hands together and make another new colour? <gasps> it is! Look. What does green and red make? It makes blacky iku! Blacky <laughs> iku? Is it a blacky iku colour? Iku colour. Are you ready to get mummy to get yes. your hands ready? Yes! Oh no! Oh no! Look at my hands! all dirty! Oh, Bits! Mummy! Oh, it's so slimy. Is it slimy? Feel it. How does it feel? It feels um, a little bit. It's not joining us. Oh, look, look, look. Uh oh. Say, put your hands in. Put your hand on, mommy. Yeah. Ah! One, two, three. Woo! Ah, stuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, look. We managed to get mommy. We managed.
managed to get Sara and Saeed a little bit. The second activity that I want to talk about is using chalks. Now chalks are lovely. Um, you can use chalks to create lots of pieces. When the weather is nice, especially when the weather is nice, you can just get them out and um, you can just get them to, to use the chalks outside in the garden. Um, and the, the great thing about chalks is as soon as the water hits the um, floor, they will just go. If you don't get rain, you can just splash a bit of water on them and it will go as well. So it's kind of really nice to use chalks. Um, you can get different types of chalks. You can get jumbo chalks. You can get sort of slightly smaller ones, different colors. And um, they're really nice and easy to use. Also, in my day, um, we used to have blackboards. So we were just um, in school, the teacher will stand there and um, she'll, she'll explain the lesson. She'll show us how to do some nice um, handwriting on the blackboards. Now, sadly, those have gone in schools, but um, you can still get blackboards um, for kids and they could just use the chalks in the house and just um, do loads of chalk drawings. It's lots of fun. And um, if, they, if your um, kid has done a picture on the chalks um, that you want to kind of keep, because the only thing I find with blackboards is that once the image is gone, the image is gone, just capture it with a, with a camera. Just take a picture of the chalk drawings. And I've got a few chalk drawings of my children, um, some chalk drawings that they've done on the blackboards, and they're really nice. So um, you can capture it that way. Also, it saves you a lot of paper, so you don't have you won't have loads of paper lying around in your house. So you have less paper to deal with, and um, you have some nice artwork as well. I also play a guessing game with my kids. So what happens is that they'll do a chalk drawing on the. Um, the blackboard and I'll be like okay what is this is this a fruit is this an animal you know we'll kind of talk about what um, the shapes are I'll, I might draw something and they'll be like mommy you're drawing this you're drawing that so it's again all you know activities with the blackboard it's really nice you can also buy um, paint a black paint that's designed like a, sort of like a blackboard where you can paint a corner of the room and they could just freely um, draw on that but actually I don't like doing that because um, once they get the, the happy idea that they can draw on the wall they go everywhere they go everywhere around the house and they draw everywhere so I don't like that idea but you might do I don't know <laughs> so um, so chalks the third idea is play-doh now as I said my daughter showed you how to do play-doh how to make it you can um, so it's not just the process of actually um, using it it's also the process of making it so it's kind of fun to make it and then use it and you can make lots of different things with it just like you can with clay you can make pots you can make um, you can pretend ice cream you can make all sorts of things and um, you can get different things um, they sell them now different um, bits of sort of play-doh machinery that you can make different things with um, you can use um, if you watch actually my clay episode I show you how to do different things with clay same thing applies to play-doh you can make um, different things imprints and lots of different things with play-doh um, so It'll keep the kids busy and it's lots of fun the only thing is it can be messy so try not to do it on the carpet if you do it on the if you are working on a carpet because obviously your house is carpeted you can just put something down so that the play doesn't doesn't get into the carpet I find that a bit sort of hard to get out so um, that's a good idea so just use lots of play-doh buy lots of play-doh or make play-doh and make lots of things be creative and talk to your kids while they're making the things oh is this an ice cream oh um why can't I eat this ice cream I'll say I'll ask that to my daughter and she'll be like because it's not real mummy so you know they'll kind of get into a conversation with you and it's kind of fun um so that's great um so play-doh salt dough it's nice good fun so the fourth thing is using coloring pencils coloring pencils are fantastic you can also get a large variety of coloring pencils you can get ones with stamps that make sort of different shapes you can get ones that are um, magic magic pens I showed it in one of my episodes you can get lots of different types of coloring pen pencils these days and um, just try not to try to get child-friendly ones not um, not permanent markers or anything like that because you're working with kids you don't want to use these sorts of things um, also um, coloring books while you're using the coloring pens 
get some coloring books. Kids absolutely love coloring in the coloring books and um, I actually love um, kind of working with my kids with the coloring books. So they might, we might be working on one image. I might be working on a, um, I'll be like, oh, I'll color the butterfly while you color the um, turtle for instance or whatever. So <laughs> just an example. Um, so basically um, they'll color a section and I'll color a section and then um, the picture will magically sort of come together well not magically but will come together eventually and it's kind of really nice to do um, an art piece together with them also why not get the coloring pencils and just draw around your hand draw around get them to draw around their hand get them to draw around objects um, be careful if you're getting them to draw around any toys or anything like that because um, you might get the toys dirty obvious and the final and fifth activity that I love doing with my kids and I'm sure you will too is um, creating a magical space creating a place where um, they can sort of use their imagination and it really sparks the kids imagination and it's fantastic is um, get some furniture so just get like two chairs put some um, fabric on the top put some more fabric on the top and get some get your kids to kind of hide inside and layer in the fabric and it will create sort of like a house or a space or a cave or whatever their imagination leads them to so it will allow them to kind of create a space that no one can go to um, you can talk to them while they're um, inside. Oh, what is this space? What is it? Is it this? Is it that? Is it a magical cave? Is there a bear inside? Is there this? And um, the one thing that my daughter kind of loves to do is she loves to kind of create these tickets where um, she gives um, my son a ticket if he goes inside the cave. So again, using the idea of um, en entering, a, entering a place, um, what you need so like if you go watch a movie you'll need a ticket to go inside so it kind of teaches them a few, few life skill, skills along the way while kind of using their imagination so it's lovely to kind of do these things so um, yeah so the fifth one is creating a magical wonderful space somewhere that no one else can go but them you already gone inside no. mama think we need a number Saeed wants a ticket Okay. Here's one ticket. Wow. Who else wants a ticket? Who else wants a ticket? Mm. Wanna have a ticket, Mama? Okay. So thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope I've given you ideas on different things you could do with your kids to keep them busy, to keep you busy. And um, thank you once again for watching. I am on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Fish -bye. Oh, don't eat it. Uh-oh. Saeed has decided to eat it and we have to get it out of his mouth. Oh my God. Oh, don't eat it.